Hey guys, welcome to Inspire Chemistry and this is the new video in the series of Start Your Research Today. In this video, I will talk about material science, different aspects, chemistry, be it physics, theoretical sciences, engineering, and then we'll go on further to understand the role of chemistry in material science. So please watch this video till the end. So to start, let's discuss what material science is. So for material science, actually, uh, material and science is an inter interdisciplinary field which involves physics, chemistry, uh, engineering, theoreticals, everything. It's a, it's a kind of amalgam which works together to give you some useful results. Okay. So it's not that it works alone and alone. These are two different classes. They work together to form something uh, called the material science. Okay. So it mostly depends on matter and they they it's a genie uh, it's a series of uh, things which happen together to bring from something from natural sciences to application in the real world so let's say a chemist prepares some uh, a chemical composition which has some uh, uh, good performance then what physicists do is that they make predictions they actually look at the material uh, see its different property, mechanical property, all other properties. Then after it shows that it is a promising material, then uh, the engineers come into picture where they try to transform the natural science phenomena from micro to macro and then to the application. So it's a series of chain and each and every step is equally important. Okay, so to be, uh, to be in the broad sense, like chemistry does their structure, composition, different methods, all of these things which will be discussed later in this video. What physicists do is that they look at properties of material which is given to them by chemists like they see that uh, let's say mechanical strength as I've to already told you that a spider's web is five has five times more tensile strength than steel. So physicists do look at such properties like phononics, optics and other phenomena uh, as well which are difficult for a chemist or other field people to understand okay so these are the sort of thing quantum mechanics they give quantum mechanic models and there are something called the theoretical uh, theoretical department also they which try to provide support to the experiments they try to find out the fundamental reasons why is something happening okay then then they make predictions as well uh, if you uh, if you've ever heard about uh, hydrogen evolution reaction and their catalyst they have some thing called the volcano plot which predicts which catalysts are good for this particular reaction so these are some dft calculations which are very important there are different kinds of first uh, from first principle other different aspects are there let us, let's just not go into that then there are ab initio, uh, ab initio, uh, calculation is very similar molecular dynamics to see the interactions and support again support and lay forward uh, insights into uh, into uh, the experiments and uh, when it comes to like uh, engineering engineering is again one important class because uh, if you're developing like research is done to make something applicable which brings something to society in some form let it be physical or tangible intangible in in some form right so it should reach to the common people so what engineers do is that mainly, although they have different variety of work as well, but mainly they try to uh, do what has been found in research, transform it to uh, transform and take it to the normal people. Like they act as a bridge to bring the natural sciences to the applicability part. Okay. So it's like so much complex and the importance of engineering can be cons uh, can be understood by, uh, let's say example from 2019 Nobel Prize winner. Okay, so 2019 Nobel Prize uh, was given to the lithium-ion battery, which involved Stanley Witt uh, Whittington, John Goodenough, Akira y Yoshino. So what Akira did is that he not only worked in natural sciences, but he was the person who first uh, firstly made a, a lithium-ion commercialized battery. So it's equally important to bring that thing to the society, uh, to the application part. So that's why that's that thing won him a Nobel Prize. So you can understand how important uh, can engineering be. Okay, so now we come on to our main focus, the role of chemistry in um, material science. 
so if you're not a physicist who does this gravitational uh, gravitational waves radioactivity other fundamental phenomena it all comes down to atoms because atoms and other particles are the fundamental reasons for some phenomena or for all the phenomena i would say okay let's say uh, for uh, for the sake of explanation i'll take example of a planet let's say La nasa finds out that this planet has water on it now because of the knowledge that chemists have uh, attained for like from years and years of research is that if we have water on some planet we we will know that there are different sources of uh, there are different reactions to produce water so how can we is uh, is there any source of hydrogen oxygen or other reactions available at those planets which makes water so because we have that insights we have that mechanism and reactions which can tell us more about something which is already present so that's how chemistry works your knowledge can be utilized in some sense and then let's say you bring some material to us that is like useful some ceramic or something chemists like find it out like what all things it contains people bring their soil samples as well like what all what all contents are there in the soil which enriches the soil and helps uh, trees to grow and all these things so characterization is again very important part and um, so uh, what chemists are basically from starting to end i would uh, say that like uh, when it all comes down to atoms elements chemist is the one who synthesizes those molecules those inorganic structures those compositions which to which the uh, after which uh, their uh, different studies would be carried on like their properties and everything so first you need to synthesize things then there are people who work on structures there are people who who whole phd post your whole research career is focused on some just developing few techniques or just finding out few structures so it's not that somebody's job is uh, not as important as others I may mean, let's take an example of people who work in synthesis so you cannot say that this guy works in synthesis and it, he doesn't have it's his work and his her work is doesn't have a direct application to the uh means that it doesn't have a direct application you can't say that you can't say that because uh his whole work his whole phd work or research work is based on how to develop the more efficient synthetic uh, synthesis process to uh do better synthesis of that material so it's equally equally complex and it forms an integral part of the chain of things from uh, structures to the application every uh, people work in every field pay their little bit of uh, uh knowledge to the society then there's a gradual increase and that's how research grows okay so the though everything is equally important then there are people who were as i told people who work on uh, synthesis like uh, taking making sure that the reactions are selected they are they have good yield they are really efficient energy efficient molecule efficient so all these things really matters okay then there are people in uh, chemistry doing their research to develop characterization methods probing methods to probing methods to find and characterize the materials which were synthesized by the chemists okay and then there are people who work on uh, like, let's say i will take example of organic chemistry people it's very very actually utterly important to understand the chemistry of material uh, like uh, reactions if you don't understand the chemistry and mechanisms you won't be able to modify or make it selective or different you won't be able to cover or enhance the aspects of that uh, chemical reaction so people who work on mechanism fundamental study they work on and on and on catalysis to give the, to pay their part in the research like gradual development and so it's like try and error you synthesize different things they some of them work out some of them doesn't work out but every day you learn that's all what big chemist told us you have to work you have to try different things some day you will have a eureka really okay and then there are people who work in polymers like functional materials polymers are there because you if you look around you'll be flooded with polymers this my laptop discovering is polymer my table even this pen everything for like even if you're wearing a shoe that contains uh, styrene butadiene styrene bottle sapphire so we are flooded with actually polymers 
then there you look around you find devices like light you think like how do people how did people come about the research about their light like how 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 this uh, particular composition or chemical composition give fluorescence phosphorescence how is it energy efficient and all those studies are equally important so uh, nobody can be like if you ask anybody to like summarize the role of chemistry it's really difficult it's actually the role of chemistry is like a ocean so you cannot just say like 10 or 15 properties and you're done it plays a humongous humongous and integral part in um, uh, chemistry of material sciences and you should like it's difficult to summarize everything here so please these were just highlights to uh, to give you a spark of inquisitiveness to find them more and do your research so that's all for today's video and uh, if you like this video please hit the like button share it with your friends so that they can also be benefited from uh, the insights i presented here and please subscribe to us for more uh, knowledgeable and informative videos on research as well we all have we really dedicate our time to research we want people to understand research we want people to step into research and we really want a good research output nation so that's all for today thank you inspire chemistry